who is Osman Toure? Who is he? Oh my goodness. So welcome back to my channel and oh my goodness, I I am so curious to get to know this young man and um, I didn't know who he was until you know I've been seeing some you know some suggestions on YouTube and so I was like hey let's let's find out who this guy is so if you don't know me if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe so my name is Connie and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend so just support me and make sure that you watch the full video so today we're going to react to um, you know this video uh, the African youth message for the diaspora and so I am so like I am so curious to get to know this guy because I think he's the future and the youth is the future and especially in Africa so you know come with me let's find out um, what he has to say hey come here. <laughs> hello <laughs> look how handsome he is you know oh this is a subscriber would you believe it I've come out of the hotel and I'm like do I know you and I was like I was being polite anyway but this is a subscriber I want to introduce yourself to the black sit family hello black sit family this is and so I want to say that the black sit family is um it's an amazing channel because you know they've been showcasing the Gambia and to be honest with you guys, I know I studied Gambia in in geography or in history, you know, and but I have no idea. Um, I mean, what I mean, what Gambia is all about. To be honest with you, I've been so ignorant for so many years until recently. And the Brexit family, they're doing a great job because they're showcasing um, this beautiful country, and of course, you know. You know, just you know, just giving the platform to young people, and so I'm so happy to have found your channel. So I hope to react to more of your videos, guys. And thank you so 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 much for you know, for you know, showing uh, Gambia to the world. This is Usman Toure, a final year development major, University of the Gambia, and I'm a subscriber to the Bloodsick family. Yeah. Because um, Julie why does he look so much like you know like the future I don't know uh, a tourism minister or even the future president you know you know you can just tell by the way he's just holding himself by the way he's expressing himself you know he looks to be a confident young man and I'm really looking forward to knowing more about this guy because uh, he's uh, there is something about him let me know in the comments below if that's a vibe you actually get from him. So yeah, comment below. It really inspired me when I look into some of the videos that they've uploaded mm -hmm. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it shows, it depicts about the realities of the Gambia and it's inspired, it motivates other individuals outside the Gambia that with the little that they have, they can make big investment and a big change in Africa. Mm -hmm. so Exactly. I agree with him 100% because I guess the mistake most people make is waiting to have a lot so they can start something. No, just start where you are, be it in business, be it in your personal life. Just It's always a step at a time, you know, so do not wait to have a lot to start something. You can start where you are, start today, you know, because it's never the right time. You know, and then you will see that, you know, it always seems impossible until it's done. So that is Nelson Mandela who said that. And when I have those down moments sometimes in life, because it happens to everybody, then I just, you know, I just tell myself it always seems impossible until it's done. So I agree with you, Usman. That inspired me a lot, oh, too. It's like, I'm give this guy a hug. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, so you're... I think her name is Juliet, right? She's Juliet. I love the energy. I love her vibe. She's such a beautiful person. You can just tell from her vibes and the way she just, um, you know, um, her relationship towards other people. And, you know, she always brings the good vibe in the room. So, yeah, love it. You're a final year student, so yeah. you go to university here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. So there are universities in the Gambia? Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> sure, there is a university in the Gambia, of course, and that is called University of the Gambia, and we also have other private universities, of course. You know, with determination, with the belief that you can make it, now I'm a final year student, and by December, I will be with my BSc in development, so which is a plus. So wow. there is no magic in it. It's just believing. 
that you can do it. Yeah, believing that you can do it, hard work, of course, because you can believe in something, but if you don't put the necessary action into something, then of course you will not see results. And it's the same thing when you keep making the same mistakes over and over again, then you should just go back to the drawing board and ask yourself the, you know, the relevant questions like why. And so, yes, believing in yourself for one, and then of course putting in the work so you can get to where. Anyway, I feel this young man is a whole vibe. I love him. <laughs> he's a whole vibe. There is something about the aura that he's got. Oh my goodness. How old is um how how old is he? Do you know? Let me know in the comments below. And that is the most unique thing that we have as Gambians. Mm -hmm. Like we interact with one another, we live with one another. It doesn't matter how big the family is. We say everything, no matter how little it is. And people are content with that. Mm -hmm. That even if things are going hard, you can still observe smiling faces mm -hmm. under each and every person that you meet along the street. So that is a plus for everybody in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm a proud Gambian and mm -hmm. a proud African. And I believe I can make it. And I'm going nowhere. But in the Gambia. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, wow. What? Okay. And he just said he's going nowhere. So that means that this young man is so proud of his country or where he's coming from. And 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 actually he's like, I, I'm so sure that if he had scholarships anywhere else in the world, he wouldn't go. Am I right? That's a vibe I'm getting from him. Like he wants to build a country and he's just so determined and he's so happy to have the platform from Juliet um, and you know he just wants to you know he's just like a model to the young people like yes you can do it just the resources are in Africa and of course you can um, you know you can benefit from from everything that is actually in Africa and not just go and look at look for it somewhere else let's listen to what he just said again ah I love it so much already I love this I love it just let's listen again proud African and I believe I can make it and I'm going nowhere but in the ah! end, yeah, <laughs> nobody is going to do it for us that's right. right if we are all running away you know when are we gonna mm -hmm. make it we have to stay in Africa develop in Africa and then show to the world that Africa have a better image than the one they portray in the West mm -hmm. I think this is what we and that's why I'm so happy to have come across so many African youtubers who are telling the African narrative, you know? And this is very important because for so many years there has been what we call the brain drain, you know? So this is people going away from their country to go and look for greener pastures. And, you know, as I think we all know that, you know, grass is not greener on the other side. It's greener where you water it. And so that's exactly what he's trying to tell us. And yeah, I take, I take it. I take it myself. I take it myself. So... I am so, so happy to hear that. Oh my goodness, this, the words that are coming out of his, you know, of his mouth are truth and it's a reality. You know, we have everything that we need in Africa and we need to, um, we need to show it. And I'm so grateful. So if you know any African YouTuber that you would like me to react to that I haven't discovered yet, because I just started, you know, um, what, maybe two weeks now. And I'm discovering more and more YouTube and I'm like, wow, this is a time for Africa. This is a time for the young generation to build Africa and actually show that everything we need is in Africa and we don't need um, to go elsewhere and we can do it ourselves. So, thank you. We all need to do as Africans mm -hmm. and then we promote that as Pan-Africans and also as Gambians. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I couldn't have said it better. Pan-Africanism is a whole vibe. Pan-Africanism, if the whole of Africa came together and that our leaders put aside their, you know, egotistical um, ambitions, then Pan-African, I have said this again and I will continue saying it, but it's a whole vibe and it's so powerful that people can come together and build Africa and not depend on other people, you know, to build our countries. Myself, actually, you know, I propose that you come and do some shows with me. This brother's got it going on. Yeah, but seriously, um, you know, I think that the, the, the misrepresentation of Africa 
um, has, wow, I, I mean, it permeated my brain. Mm -hmm. And I knew because I was coming from a Pan-African background, but still, you know, the images are forced upon us. So I think mm -hmm. you young Gambians have yeah. a responsibility yeah. to show the mm -hmm. other side of Gambia, the Gambia that, you know, we diasporians and many people in the West don't mm -hmm. see. They just don't see it. Exactly. I think that is the work of the academics. That is the work. He's a born leader, right? You guys, how come I didn't know about this guy before? I'm so ashamed right now. I am just so ashamed of myself right now. He's a born leader. Look at how he's just like holding himself and the way he's just looking at the camera. And he's, you know, he's got that vibe of a leader. And I think this young man will go places, you know, if he isn't already, because I'm just discovering him right now. So let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have any other videos that I can react to, if you have any any other, you know, um, things that you would like me to see from him, and I would be so glad to get to know him a little bit more. That we need to do as young scholars. For far too long, people have been portraying Africa negatively to the mm. outside world. And we know that that was done by individuals whose sole aim was to dominate Africa, to exploit Africa's resources, mm. and then to continue to colonize us politically. Now, our role as academics, as young scholars, is how do we make sure that this picture is changed from the literature itself? Going back to... Yo, why does he remind me so much of PLO Lumumba? You know, the Kenyan um, academic... He reminds me so much of, you know, that young man. Well, I think right now he must be, you know, advanced in age. But he just, re I remember as a student, I would sit and just listen to him just giving speeches. And his speeches were full of, you know, um, oh, they were so powerful. The message was clear and sim. I'm telling you, he just reminds me of PLO, uh, the Kenyan you know, pff, academic, and I'm like, wow, guys, let me know, <laughs> I'm so excited right now, oh my goodness, let me know in the comments below if I'm right, if you're from Kenya and you know PLO, our PLO, does it remind you of him? To rewrite the books, to rewrite the history of mm. Africa, and then to show to the world that we have a better image, that the, that the world is actually seen as of today, <sighs> and then you also come to realize that we need to invest in Africa. Because foreign in investment always leads to capital flies and etc. Mm. Because people who come in and invest, at the end, they can... Yeah, I agree. I mean, Africans, it's good to have, um, you know, international investors because uh, in a way it brings a sort of diversity, all right? So that's okay. But I think Africans should invest more in their country because, you know, the wealth will stay in the country and not you know, get out of the country. So I agree with him 100%. So absolutely. Take all the resources and then you come to realize that it becomes another challenge for us. But when Africans invest, the money stays in Africa, mm. which is a plus. It can mm. enhance, it can help when it comes to employment, when it comes to, you know, coming up with all the facilities and then enhancing the development that we own that we all desire as Africans and etc. I think that is what we need to do as we speak and that is what we all Africans need to be thinking into that particular line, like trying to see how we can repent that particular picture shown by the outsiders yes. about Africa. Because they do. In fact, let me tell you. <laughs> Guys, just listen to what he has just said. We need to repaint, and it's exactly that. And also teach the young generations to be proud of, you know, of where they're from. Just to be proud and teach them the history as it is so they can, you know, they can have the urge and, you know, the motivation to, you know, to continue building their country and not, you know, go elsewhere. So just listen to what he just said again, because it's so powerful, crazy. Like mm. trying to see how we can repent mm. that particular picture shown by the outsiders yes. about Africa. <laughs> because they, in fact, let me tell you, that was this quotation that I read. It was actually done by a British parliamentarian, Lord Macaulay, in 1835. He speaks about Africa and then he said, in order for the West to dominate Africa, they need to overthrow our very backbone. And that is our education system. Mm. When we believe that everything. Yeah, education is power. You educate somebody, you give them power. 
So if you do not want to give that power, you need to remove the education, you know, and this you can see this all over the world where you have places in the world where girls or, you know, people don't actually have proper education. And that means that, you know, it just keeps them away from important things and 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 um and situations where they can defend themselves. But because they do not have the knowledge, then, of course, they have no means of defending themselves. So absolutely knowledge is power. You give power to the people by educating them and that's why we need to put more means our governments need to put more means into educating the younger generation so they can give them power and give power back you know to africa as a whole i think that is western is correct mm, that right. they can dominate us forever exactly. and that is 1835 mm. they've been working on those bases so today it is high time because we know the realities let us try to rewrite the mm. history let us try to work again and attract investment in Africa by Africans. Okay. Well, I also feel so inspired when I watch, you know, your video with Wode Maya and Maya. Hi. Hi, Maya. I could not see him. Yeah, he watches. He watches. He watches. So, yeah. Maya, I'm saying hi, and then that was so inspirational. I was like. So Maya is actually. I call him the father of um united africa he's like the african father and i think he's the african father to all uh, a whole generation of african youtubers who look up to him who are now showcasing africa who are now rewriting the african story who are repainting africa as a whole because he showcases uh you know diasporans who go back to africa because they want to build um, Africa and also all the people all the African investors and he just showcases Africa by Africans and he's a whole vibe as well so I have reacted to some of his videos so if you want to you can just go back and, and watch to and watch the videos that I've done um, you know with him like wow how comes this lady is speaking like this I wish every African could think in this particular way then automatically the literature and the realities will change mm -hmm. thank you thank you we have to be the change we want to see yeah we have to be the change we want to see if we don't want to support uh those uh systems that oppress us then we need to come and be free where we're not oppressed look we're free yeah sure we're free you know yeah. let's do this let's do this i'm saying family what do i say every video come home i can't i don't know how to reiterate i can't um, express the love the feeling mm -hmm. the grounding the the just the, the inspiration and you know what mm -hmm. i like about here yeah one bowl of food everybody eats sure. and that's what i'm saying to everybody we will find a way we will find a way home mm -hmm. we will find a way home and also you you know when you you're not faced uh with you know the racial profiling you know everybody in africa looks like you so of course you feel at home and you feel there's this togetherness where people are always together always coming together to help each other always coming together you know to uh, you know to be your brother's keeper actually and so this is a spirit that we don't really have uh, in the West and so yeah I understand 100% Julia where you're coming from and I also understand why you feel at home when you're in the Gambia yeah, we will find a way home. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pretend like I'm knocking my shoes off. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. I'm doing the freedom dance. Yeah. Right. Come on. Come on. Let's do the right. freedom dance. We're going to come back. Right. We're going to come back. We're right. going to come back. We're going to come back. <laughs> and you welcome us back? Yeah, you're welcome. You're Let welcome. them all come back. You're all welcome. Welcome to Africa. Welcome to the Gambia. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I feel so inspired and I'm I'm so proud of this young man because I think he is going places for sure he will so please let me know if you would like me to react to any more of his videos leave me a comment down below and I will be so happy to to do so because whew, I yeah I I'm I'm blown away literally so well see you next time and make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video guys thank you guys bye Bye.